Hello everyone, Civ Extraordinaire here, and I have a problem with the Assyrians and humankind. If you have played the recently released Lucy Open Dev, then you may be familiar with some of the cultures I reference in this video. I don't want to keep you too hung up on the intro, and this video isn't about reviewing the Open Dev itself, but it's more of a smaller problem I have with how the Assyrian culture is portrayed in this game. The Assyrians, if you are familiar with them in humankind, are an ancient era culture that have the expansionist affinity. Affinities are groupings that different cultures are placed into and grant each culture unique traits to help them in certain aspects of the game. For example, the Hittites have a militarist affinity, meaning that they pursue warfare and are usually on the offensive. Expansionists, as the name implies, rely on expansion to grow their empire. Where the lines become blurry in humankind is when you start to debate the meaning of broader affinities like expansionist and try to pin down what the name expansionist really means. You can acquire more territory through several ways in humankind, after all, and that is where some of the issues really start to begin. To illuminate, let's take a step back and look at all of the cultures and affinities in the ancient era. For humankind, there are 10 cultures per era, with the ancient era being the first and one of the most important eras where picking a culture is going to drastically impact your gameplay. These 10 cultures consist of two militarists, one agrarian, one scientist, one builder, two merchants, two aesthetes, and one expansionist. While some may point out and say that, hey, there is only one culture for some of the other affinities in the ancient era as a counter-argument, I want to bring up the fact that these cultures are very true to their affinities. The Harappans have significant food bonuses, the Babylonians are very science-heavy, and the Egyptians are very clearly industry-focused. The Assyrians? Not so much. With expansionists being a broader category, and the Assyrians being the only culture to represent that affinity, you would think that they would have some generalist bonuses, right? Well, take a look at their bonuses and you may begin to see my problem here. The Siege Master's legacy trait grants them plus one movement, the Assyrian Raider is a mounted unit with a focus towards pillaging, and they get a unique fort? In the ancient era, you might be saying that Civ forced provide a way for you to guard your territories and you would be right. Except for the fact that both of the militarist cultures already have unique quarters that do the exact same thing, but far, far better. Let's start out with the Mycenaeans. They are militarist and have the Cyclopean fortress that, you guessed it, is a unique fort. The Hittites? They are a bit different because they get a unique outpost that basically upgrades into a fort. While it isn't exactly a fort replacement, I think you can see where I'm going with this. Now, this isn't some dire situation that cannot be salvaged, and I am by no means saying that the Assyrians must have a complete and total rework. In fact, I like the Assyrian Raider, and their pillaging bonus is generally very fun to play with. My main complaint is that the bonuses for the Assyrians feel very uninspired. The developers took the time to make the Awari more expansion flavored, like giving them some kind of influence boost to allow you to build more outposts faster, or making the legacy bonus provide a cheaper outpost construction cost instead of a flat out plus one movement speed, then I think th this would greatly improve the Assyrians. Right now, the Assyrians don't really stick out from the crowd. I already mentioned that they have a similar fort to the other two militarists, but the plus one movement speed combined with their already insanely fast mounted raider feels like overkill and it leaves the Assyrians as a whole feeling like they are just another militarist. Ironically, the only purely expansionist flavor that the Assyrians have that doesn't involve warfare is the ability to snatch outposts from other civilizations, and that isn't even their legacy ability. It's provided by their affinity. Developers at Amplitude have been very diligent about listening to their community and providing useful information, so I am sure that they will get the Assyrians right. I also know that my problems and concerns with the game aren't the most important or at the top of the developer's checklist, so I just hope that people consider what I have to say. And in the end, I have had a ton of fun with the open dev so I sincerely hope none of the people working on this game at Amplitude take my criticism the wrong way. If you like this video and want to see more from me, please leave a like and subscribe. Otherwise, this has been Civ Extraordinaire, and I hope you have a great rest of your week. Stay safe, and as always, peace.